something you will never see again. Hey guys, so this is an interesting image. I don't think I've ever taken a bath before since being old enough to bathe myself. And the reason for that is that I am mildly allergic to water. It doesn't actually impact my life um, a whole lot except for when I'm bathing and when I'm swimming. And I'm really grateful for that because I guess just like with any allergy, some people have really, really extreme allergies to water and it's super rare, but it is not something to be taken lightly and can even be life-threatening. I feel like so few cases are reported of this that even if I do just have a mild form of it, I should probably like contribute to the knowledge gap we have when it comes to this condition. I'm here to educate and answer some of the frequently asked questions that I get about my water allergy, just like from my friends and from my family and stuff like that. Today, we are going to be answering some of those frequently asked questions while sitting in the bathtub just so that I can kind of, this is kind of weird, but I feel like I need to still prove to myself that it is the water and it's not like the soap I'm using or something in the pool water. I know it's the water, but at the same time, it's so hard to believe that I just wanted to like try just sitting in here and just seeing what would happen. I'll tell you right now that my left leg is itching. So that's really fun. Frequently asked question number one. What do you mean you are allergic to water? Well, what I mean is that when I am in water for more than five minutes maybe, I start getting rashes and hives all over my body. It's mostly on my like abdomen, like my stomach and my chest and my back, which is why this probably isn't a good way to test it out because like my upper body isn't even hardly in the water. But apparently that is the most common reaction. Most people who have it tend to just have reactions more on like their abdomen than their arms and their legs, which is the case for me. Question number two, how bad is it? Well, I've already touched on it a little bit, but it kind of just feels like I have mosquito bites all over my body. And it looks like that too, I get hives. So contextually, it's not really that bad, um, but it's definitely not pleasant. I don't like it, you know? Is the water slowly draining or am I crazy? It kind of just feels like I'm itching all over and I'm so used to that feeling when I'm in the pool or in the ocean or showering that I don't even notice it most of the time. How do you bathe and does anything happen when you drink water? Like, how do you do that? Well, I bathe pretty normally. I bathe every day and I kind of just deal with the itching. Like I said, I'm so used to it that it's just, it is what it is. I'll normally notice it like maybe five minutes into my shower, which is why I never take long showers. I've never been one to just like hang out in the shower. So yeah, I bathe normally and normally when I get out of the shower or out of the pool or whatever, the hives will go away um, in maybe like 20 minutes. I have seen cases of people with this allergy whose reactions last for like hours after they get out of the shower. So I feel lucky that for me it's just maybe 20 minutes or so of itching before it goes away. Nothing happens when I drink water. When I wash my hands, nothing happens. It's too quick. I have heard that some people have reactions to just like the humidity or to the rain and stuff like that. I feel like I've had reactions to the rain before. If I'm like wearing like wet, pants or something for like a while my legs will definitely itch how long have you been experiencing this and when did you find out you had it i mean i'm pretty sure i've always thought that swimming just made you itchy because <laughs> i remember being in like middle school just kind of like being in the pool like like this and no one noticing evidently because i didn't actually start vocalizing this or like i guess it never occurred to me that maybe it wasn't normal until i was like 14 or 15 i think we were on a family vacation and we were all sharing a hotel room of course and i just finished showering and i showed my mom how my lower back was like covered in hives and I just had like a huge rash on my lower back. And she looked at it and she was like, 
she was like, Tom, come look at this. So it wasn't until I was like 14 or 15 that I even like started telling anyone about it. And then once I told them about it and they were like, um, I started being a little bit more vocal about how when I was swimming and stuff, I would also be itchy. My mom really wanted me to ask the dermatologist about it, but I didn't want to for some reason. But one day, literally like a couple years ago, like I was in high school, we went to the dermatologist for something else. And while I was there, my mom was like, Shelby, you want to ask her about the thing and I was like okay look every time I take a shower or get in the pool or get into the ocean I get itchy and I get like little red bumps all over my body and I don't know what it is it goes away after a while like trying to downplay it it's not a big deal or anything and the dermatologist was like ah oh, yes that is aquagenic urticartia or something and we were like oh okay cool what is that and she was like well basically it means you're allergic to water and I was like oh okay good my mom was like is that is that kind of common? Is that like a rare thing? And she was like, oh, it's incredibly rare. She was like, I've never actually met anyone who has it. The only reason I even know what it is is because I had just been like reading something about it a couple days ago. But yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. And then the fifth and final question that I get asked a lot and that I have myself is how rare is this condition? Well, I'll tell you this. Every once in a while, I go to Google it just to like see if there's any new news about it. And there's hardly anything online. There's like a couple news stories about people who have it really bad. I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that probably more people have it than are reported, but they just have mild cases like I do, so they never actually ask about it. I think the people who are reporting it have really extreme cases, and so that's why maybe so few cases are reported. But as of 2011, there were less than 100 cases reported in medical literature. I'm just gonna leave it at that. My mom always wonders how she didn't notice it when I was younger, but I feel like I read somewhere that a lot of the people who have it developed it maybe around puberty. So I think that's what happened to me. I probably developed the allergy when I was a little bit older. And that's why when I was younger, nobody ever noticed it. But I do find it interesting that even as I got older, like nobody questioned it. It's possible that I actually did complain about being itchy in the pool before. And they just assumed like, well, yeah, like when you get out of the pool sometimes, like you are itchy or they like contributed it to other things, which is like totally reasonable. So I, I don't blame anyone for that. So now that I've tested my theory, let's see what we have discovered. We have discovered that my legs, which usually aren't that bad, have like rashes. Like, can you see that? I'm just having a great time right now. I have like a rash like here and then like you can see my knee. I think this kind of proves it to me. My right leg is getting worse. That's all I have to say about my water allergy. Let me know if you or someone you know also may have this allergy. I know this isn't the kind of video that I usually would make, but thanks for sticking with me. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I pretty much post a video every Saturday and I like to do all kinds of fun stuff. We talk about music, we talk about makeup, we vlog. We don't usually sit in the bathtub talking about our water allergy, but sometimes we do that too. The longer I sit here, the more it, the more it, bad it gets. I am going to remove myself from this bathtub now. So thank you guys for listening to my little struggle in life. And I guess I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!